Josh Holman. I live in Garner, Iowa. I work on the fourth generation family farm here and we have a feedlot and cow-calf operation. On feedlot operations, cattle are raised in monoslope barns and are fed specifically to go to the packing plant to be made into processed meat, steaks, and roasts. Our feedlot operation consists of two feedlot sites. When the cattle arrive to our feedlot, they weigh between 500 and 700 pounds. We buy them when they're weaned and grow them until they're seven or 800 pounds and then they go to our finishing site and they will stay here until they are 18 months old and reach a weight of 1300 pounds in order to go to the packing plant. When we receive cattle to the feedlot, we vaccinate them and tag every head of cattle to ensure that they stay healthy and the tag is for individual identification purposes. So every day we drive through the feedlot and look at the cattle to make sure everyone is healthy, everyone is eating, and if they're not, we look at their tag, write down the number, and go back through and treat the sick cattle. And in order to make sure all cattle are in a healthy and dry environment, we use corn stock bales to bed three days a week. We clean pens every few weeks, and with that manure, we pile it up during the summer and then after the crop is out in the fall, we will use manure spreaders to spread that manure back into the field. Manure is a good source of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which next year's crop is able to utilize in order to grow more corn and soybeans for the cattle to eat. Every morning before we feed, we look at how clean the bunks are to see if they have a lot of feed left or if they're clean. And if they're clean for multiple days in a row, then we know we need to feed that specific pen of cattle more feed. And if they have 200 or 300 pounds of feed left in their bunk every morning, then we know we need to feed that set of cattle less feed. We utilize a program called Performance Beef Analytics. This program is really handy in order to track feed usage and consumption of the cattle and gives us a very easy way to look at how the cattle perform in terms of average daily gain and feed efficiency. We use a feed truck and a feed wagon. The feed truck basically just has four large augers inside of it that are ran off of hydraulics and that mixes the feed together so we get a nice even mixture on our rations. Once our cattle are over 1,300 pounds, we send them to a local beef packing plant. The USDA, United States Department of Agriculture, will grade the cattle on the quality of their carcass. The carcass grades include prime, choice, select, and standard. Prime and choice is generally considered more desirable and is more marbling and produces a juicier, more tasteful steak. At Grimey Brothers, we aim for prime and choice quality grade, and we do this because we can receive a premium from the packing plant because that is more desirable for the consumers. As a cattle producer, our consumers are our number one priority. It is our goal to provide a safe, wholesome, healthy, and delicious eating experience for them and their families. 